So how many game changes have you been involved in now? Um, I'm proud to say I've been involved in all three of them, which is a uh, which is great for me as as a player of Harlequins, and yeah, it's it's good to be part of the journey so far. You uh, you were in a pretty interesting advert for one of the one of the later game changes. Yeah. Tell me about about what that video entailed. So it was myself, um, coach Karen Finley and Zoe Sainer. We are oh, were three people who had careers as well as rugby alongside rugby. I was a firefighter, Zoe Sain is a scientist slash lecturer and Jock Karen Finley is a police officer and so we had mini me's because part of the game changer is about our legacy and not only what we're doing now but what younger girls and women coming through want to achieve um, and the best bit for me was the fact that I had a little mini me and like weirdly enough she actually looked like me and she had her big hair like me and we bonded really well and weirdly I still speak to her mum now <laughs> which is quite strange but it's still again it's part of the legacy and like my mini me she she's an athlete herself she's a gymnast and again like still speaking to her mum she still looks up to me and what I'm achieving but it's very much about her being able to achieve more and and her coming on to to doing that video was the first time she was exposed to any rugby, so she's got a bit of an interest in it now. But again, it's just about exposing our younger people, our young girls to, to different sports and the fact that you don't have to specialise and you can go out and achieve it. Essentially, a lot of it is just about being exposed to it and just understanding that there is so much opportunity out there. It's not all going to come to you, but sometimes you've got to go out and grab it. How did it feel to be part of that video and part of promoting that game? So being part of the video it it makes you feel special it makes you feel like as a woman sometimes we're almost afraid to be center of attention i personally quite like it um and i <laughs> i own it and even saying that like i'll get so much jip for it but i i enjoy it so i'll take it when it comes but actually it's it's part of the build up and it's not just a game it's the game changer it's something now it's in not only the harlequins calendar like it's in the women's rugby calendar and so many even other clubs number one look forward to it and look forward to coming to watch if they can but also they are trying to do similar things as well and it's it's an honor in itself to, to number one to be a part of that campaign and to be a part of a club who does things like that um, and dare i say it, it felt like like i wouldn't want to say the first thing that comes to mind is it almost felt like being a man in rugby that you felt important you felt like this was big I, I don't want to feel like a man in rugby, I, I want to feel like a strong woman. So like things like that becoming normal is hopefully the way forward and where we're going and Harlequins is, is always pushing the envelope on that. But yeah, it's, it, was, it was a real honour and like, I take all those opportunities like that with pride and, and part of the reason why I do succeed is because I happily say yes to opportunities and some people will be shy and sort of, you've got to talk them round to it, but actually it's not only great fun doing it in the moment, you can look back on it, but it's just, again, it's all part of the legacy. It's looking, remember that time when Harley Quinn's done that video in preparation to that game, and actually maybe in five to six years time, it'll be, oh yeah, that's what we do for, for most games now. So it's just that Harley Quinn's being the one to, to start it, and then other clubs following through, and eventually it just becoming about rugby rather than women's rugby or men's rugby.